Hello guys, this is Saad and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be telling you how to recover your deleted files on Windows 11. So it is not guaranteed that it will recover all of your files but I have tried this in the past and it did help me a lot. It helped me to recover most of my files and it is really useful. So let's start the video. So first of all you have to go to any browser. I'll use Microsoft Edge for it and after opening a browser you'll have to type in recover you'll have to type in RECUVA recover and enter now you'll have to click on the first option download recover now you'll have to click on download free version over here so over here as you can see there's a free version and a professional version uh, a free version would be okay for us but if you want to purchase a professional version it's your choice but a free version would do the work for us so just click on download over here so as you can see on the top right the downloading process has begun just give it a few seconds and now you can open the file if the file just disappears you can just click on these three dots and just click on download over here and now click on open file there will be a prompt which will say do you want to allow this app to make changes just click on yes and the, the process you'll have to wait for it to install and you'll have to uncheck this box over here which says view release notes and then click on run recover just click on next so over here you'll have to select whatever files you have deleted so for example if you have deleted pictures you can select this for music you can select this for documents video compressed files or for emails but if you're not sure what type of files you have deleted or you have deleted a multiple type of files for example which already includes video videos or documents or music you can just select all files from the top over here so I have also selected all files and then you can click on next over here and now you'll have to select the location so if they were on your removal removable drive for example a SDD or an uh, external SDD or an external SSD or a hard drive or a USB you can just select the second option but if it were in your documents or in your recycle bin then you can select that option but if it's neither of those then you can change the specific location over here you can just type in the location over here but if you're not sure you can just click on the first option over here and if it was on CD or DVD you can just select the last option over here but if you're still not sure you can just click on the first option and then you can click on next over here So over here it says check this box if previous scans has failed. So we have we haven't done any previous scans yet, but if it fails, if this scan fails, then we can select this option. So we don't require it now. We can just click on start now, and this should the scan should begin now. It may take a bit time, but we can just wait for it. So as you can see it told me it failed to uh, scan this hard drive over here but it did find a lot of other items over here. So as you can see there's a lot of files over here. I'm not searching for any file, this is just a tut tutorial to tell you guys how to find your files and the sooner you run this scan after deleting a file the better. As it may help you to find the file more early as you can see there's a lot of files over here for me right now so it's not organized in a really good way but at least you can recover your file from here you can just search for the name of the file which you're looking for and I'm just showing it to you there's some pictures over here and some links over here too you can also open this path to just look at the path and you can recognize your file you can even open the file name from here just increase the size and you can see the photos over here max of photos if you deleted a photo by mistake and you can see these links over here rich media file 
some mp3 files over here music effects photo viewer so you can just follow this video over here so you can just follow this and you can easily find your recovered files in most cases it does work but sometimes it may not work as the other uh, file may be old so i recommend you to do it as fast as possible for you so that you don't lose your file you can also just click on this uh, scroll and then you can even see the stats of the file over here uh, just increase the size from here and you can see the status of the file is it excellent or it is recover recoverable or unrecoverable um, it's excellent and some are poor over here poor most of the files cannot be recovered some are really poor but some status is excellent so yeah so over here you can see the non recoverable files which are totally red and the yellow files which mean they can slightly be recovered the partially recoverable and the green ones the condition is excellent so they can be recovered easily so you can see the colors on the left side over here the red color the yellow and the green one so the yellow one might not be totally recoverable but it may not even help you so it could be slightly recoverable but it may not really suit you so the best option for you is green which is totally recoverable and it would suit you and therefore it will also help you the red one just don't think about it because it is totally lost and unrecoverable so for whatever file you want to recover just click on the box over here you have to check it it you have to check the box and then you have to click over here recover so now you'll have to click on desktop and then you can click on ok you can even make a new folder or you can even change the location where you want to recover the file and now you'll have to click on ok as you can see it gave me a warning that do you want to restore to the same drive and this can reduce the chance of a successful recovery um, so basically if you have more than one drive or you have two drives you can click on no but most of us will only have one drive and therefore we'll, we have no other choice so we'll have to click on yes but if you have two drives or three drives then you can click on no and you can you'll have a higher chance of a successful recovery and I'll click on yes and there you go the file has been restored for me on my desktop because that was the place where I uh, selected the location and now I can just click on ok and I'll show you the file on my desktop as you can see this is the file which I recovered so this was just an example to show you because I didn't have a specific file which I wanted to recover but you may do the hardest thing over here would be to find lo to locate your file but uh, you can see the date over here last modified which will help you to locate your file so over here now you can just click on file name and you can see the file names over here easily they'll be arranged in an order and y if you need a file name then you can easily find your file but you'll have to make sure that uh, it is the correct file because there'll be a, a load of junk over here and most of the junk would be non-recoverable but I hope you can find your file over here if you know the name of it because if you don't it may take you a lot of time to just scroll down and find your file from here so if you want to if you want to know more about your file you can just click on switch to advanced mode over here and this will give you more information about your file on the right hand side you can even if you have more than one drive you can just select the other drive from here and you can just click on the file and this should give you like more information over here just check the box from here and as you can see there's some more information over here about the file so this is how you can recover a file I hope this video would have helped you and for more similar videos like this you can subscribe to my channel. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, peace out.